Okay, so now we're ready to glue today. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to tape on our side pieces to our initial drawing. Okay, so I'm going to tape it from the back and I'm going to just do this quick just to show you. And I'm not going to tape it very well because I'm going to undo it, but you guys tape it really well. So there's my side one and then I'm also going to tape my bottom one on. So I'm going to tape that on. Okay, and then you're going to get your pillowcase, and you're going to open it up, and it's really big, and you're going to slide your drawing inside your pillowcase, so it's hard for you to see how I'm going to do it later, right okay, and I'm actually going to untape just so that you guys can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm going to slide my drawing in. And you can see that you can see your drawing underneath, all right? You're not going to trace it with pencil or anything. You're just going to put it right in the middle so it's ready to trace. And like I said, you guys are going to have your side pieces on there, but I took them off, all right? So once you get your drawing slid into your pillowcase, you're ready to glue. Now, you're going to want to try and get as much done as possible because once you move it, it could move your drawing and then everything's all messed up, right? So then you're going to trace with glue. So I'm going to do a little example for you instead of my big, big drawing. I'm just going to do a little example. So you're going to take your Elmer's glue bottle and we have to use gel glue. If you have another glue bottle at home, you need to use the one I gave you. And you're just going to trace your lines with glue. Now, you want to make sure that you have a nice thick line and you have a consistent line, meaning I'm going to go slow. Do you see how slow I'm going? And I'm going to pull a nice thick line, trying to make it all as even as I possibly can. And look how slow I'm going because you want it to all be even. This is like tracing with permanent marker. There's no going back once you put a line down, right? And if you smudge it with your hand, you're in trouble. So go slow. Here's what it'll look like if you go fast. Do you see how it's thick and then it gets really thin? That's why I'm going super slow and my glue bottle is dragging along my fabric. I mean, it's touching my fabric and dragging along. Okay. So once again, slow and here's what fast looks like. Fast does not look good. You need a nice thick line. Now, if you're tracing something and you're like, whoo, way too much detail, I don't think I'm going to be able to add all of those lines, then don't. Don't trace every single little thing, okay? You might end up globbing your glue. Let me show you on my actual drawing what I'm talking about, okay? So here's my parrot drawing. So say I'm tracing the head part with glue, okay? You might not want to do the pupil because once you trace the circle, you might not be able to get that middle dot without the glue all globbing together. Same with the beak. Be careful. If you're able to trace every single line, great. If you're not, I mean, take away a couple lines, okay? So that's what you're going to do today. You're going to tape together your drawing. You're going to slide it into your pillowcase, and then you're going to start tracing with your glue. And your goal is to get that all traced today so that we are ready to start painting.